Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how I made this canvas baby or toddler swing. I made this a couple of weeks ago for my son and he really enjoys it. So I've decided to make another one for his cousin because we are visiting him very soon. And I decided to take you with me and show you step by step how I made the swing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, so let's get started. So to make the swing you will need some canvas fabric, you can use outdoor or indoor fabric depending on where you want to use your swing. You will also need some extra fabric for the pillow if you want to make one, but this can be made out of a different fabric as well. Then you'll need about 6 meters of braided rope. This should not be thicker than 8 millimeters and please also check the weight that it can carry. Then you'll need some 25 millimeter wide wooden dowel. This usually comes in 1 meter long pieces and you'll have to cut it yourself. You can choose any type of wood that you prefer. Mine is beech wood and I bought two 1 meter pieces that I cut into 4 40 centimeter long pieces. You'll also need two 8 mm carabiners. But if you buy a swing attachment set, this might be included. I will link the one I've used down below. The next two things are optional. You can use two metal rings or you can just make knots in the row. And you can also use some wooden beads if you want to decorate the swing like I did. As for the tools, you will need an electric drill and a 1 cm drill bit to create a hole big enough for the rope to thread through. Then you'll need a saw, this can be handheld or an electric one. Some sandpaper to smooth out the rough edges after you've used the electric drill to create a holes. You also need a measuring tape, some fabric scissors, some pins and a sewing machine. Before we can start sewing you'll need to cut your dowel pieces, make a mark and drill a hole at about 2.5 cm from each end and use sandpaper to smooth out the rough edges. Ok so now we can start sewing. Place your fabric on a flat surface and you can start cutting out the following 6 rectangles. There are basically 2 seat panels, 2 back panels and 2 front panels and we are doubling the fabric just to make sure that it is secure enough. I've made sure to include the measurements in centimeters as well as in inches so I hope this is helpful for everyone. So here are my fabric pieces, I've laid them out on the floor just so you can see them better. And if you want to create a pillow as well, you will need to cut out another rectangle. These are the measurements for the pillow. And now we can start putting the pieces together. So I have here the two front pieces and the two back pieces. And I'm going to place them one on top of the other, right sides facing each other and pin them all the way around. And I'm doing the exact same thing for the back piece as well. Then you can start sewing all the way around using a straight stitch, but don't forget to leave a small gap so you'll be able to turn it right side out when you're done. Since the fabric is so thick, you'll probably need to cut off the corners before turning it right side out. To close the gap, I'm simply going to sew all the way around the panel using a straight stitch on the right side of the fabric. And I'm doing the same thing for the back panel. So here are my first two panels, I'm going to leave them aside for now and we're moving on to the seat. Take one seat piece and fold it in half to determine the middle of the panel. I'm using a pin to mark the middle but you can also use a pencil if that's easier for you. Then I'm going to open this up and take my back panel and place it right in the middle. I'm first going to determine the middle of the back panel as well using the same pin and then I'm placing it over the seat panel and pinning it in place. Next I'm doing the exact same thing for the front panel as well. And this is how it is supposed to look like, the front and the back panel should overlap. Now you can place the other seat panel on top and pin it all the way around, leaving an opening of about 6 cm so you'll be able to turn it right side out again. So now you can start sewing it all the way around using a straight stitch, so basically exactly like we did for the other two panels as well. Turn the panel right side out, you can use a pencil to help you with the corners. Iron the fabric if necessary and sew the gap close like you did for the front and for the back panel.
and we're almost done so this is how the swing should look like by now so this is the front piece this is the back piece and we have our side pieces now take a piece of dowel and fold the edge of the panel over it so that the dowel fits snugly hold the fabric in place remove the dowel and pin the fabric along the edge now you can sew it to form the tunnel for the dowel to go through and repeat for the other three dowels now sew everything in place, I recommend doing a double stitch, so I'm going to sew a straight line across the edge of the fabric and one about half a centimeter away from that. And the swing is basically ready, if you want to create a pillow we are going to set this aside and take the other panel that we cut out. Fold it in half and sew it all the way around, leaving an opening so you'll be able to turn it right side out. Make sure your opening is right here at the bottom, you'll see why in a second. Then you can go ahead and sew it all the way around, turn it right side out and determine the middle of your pillow by folding it in half and making a mark with a pencil or a pin. Now you can go ahead and fill up your pillow about halfway through. When you reach the middle you are going to sew a straight line across, use some pins to help you create a straight line and basically you'll need to connect the two marks that you drew earlier and then just sew straight across using matching thread. Now fill up the other half of your pillow and close the gap. And we're almost finished, now you'll need to reinsert the dowels into the tunnels you created. Then cut two pieces of rope that have the desired length when folded in half. If you're using a synthetic fiber, burn the edges with a lighter to stop them from fraying. Now thread the rope through the dowels, if you're using wooden beads you can thread them so that the back of the seat is higher. I've also added two wooden beads at the front just for decoration and don't forget to thread the metal rings as well if you're using some. Then check that the swing is leveled and tie the knots under the seat tightly. Place your pillow inside and now your swing is ready to be hung and be played with. You can hang this anywhere you want, inside or outside. This is the swing attachment that I've used, I will try to link it down below if you are interested. If you recreate this DIY make sure you tag me or send me a picture on Instagram, I'd love to see it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye!